Okay. Let's start the crappy guide chat. Everybody likes to do damage, and don't pretend like you don't, because I know you're lying. Otherwise, why would you be playing an RPG with core mechanics such as leveling up, getting stronger, and looking fashionable as fuck? It's to do massive numbers on the other guys until their numbers are so small they match the PP size of anybody who doesn't commend at the end of a duty. The other members leaving too quickly is no excuse. How do you expect to move quick enough to avoid AoEs if you can't even move quick enough to tell your allies they're doing a great job and that their glamour is sexy? Is that uncharacteristically nice of me? Maybe, but it means I get to steal the LB3 from the only melee in the group. Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. <laughs> How how do you do LV3, Shad? Do you, are you supposed to take turns or do you just press it? How does it work? I know melees get prio, but I don't know how it works. In my group, I'm always like, can I get the honor of pressing it? <laughs> and then Sin comes over and holds my hand and we LV3 together. <laughs> or I'm like, you could do it this time. I I, I try to share it. Uh, there's a math. Oh, there's a math to it. Okay, you just press it. Uh, first come, first serve. Oh, is it like somebody who presses first? Mainly for single target, mages for large group. Yeah. If it looks like the group's dying, I don't ever press it. But if it's a clear, I'm like... Can I press it? <laughs> but are you supposed to ask or just press it? How do you do it? I love pressing LV3. Today I'm going to be talking about every job. That's right. What, you thought only the DPS have the DPS? Boy, I could slap you with my overflowing glamour dresser. Damage is the name of the game in Final Fantasy XIV, and the entirety of the game is designed around everybody dealing it, including the tanks and the healers. If the DPS rules are contributing 60% of the damage, tanks and healers are the ones who fill in the other 40. So if you don't contribute, you belong in the garbage shoot. So don't get so hung up on the role names. Everybody, everybody is, is a DPS. DPS. What I mean specifically is that one, not only is FF14 a cooperative game, which means anytime you waste is not only yours, but also anybody else in your party as well. And two, every combat feature in FF14 is designed with dealing damage in mind. Healers and tanks get skills that actively promote doing more DPS. Hell, Sage is a healer whose skills actively benefit from doing DPS. And most importantly of all, Enrage. <laughs> Enrage is <laughs> it said, slap all bitches in the area. <laughs> Oh wait, it says everything. Everything slap off bitches. Yes, and most importantly of all, enrage. Enrage is what happens when you overstay or welcome in a dungeon or boss arena and the residents have run out of things to talk about and are just really ready for you to leave so they can finally go poop without being worried that you're gonna steal all their old DreamWorks DVDs. That is to say, you're either forcefully kicked out or alternatively, they instantly murder you. How do you prevent this from happening? You murder them first, of course, and then you pop in a copy of Shrek 2 so you can watch the castle siege again. And guess what? The later and later in the game you get, the more and more frequent enrages start to appear. And they'll have more and more health too, so if somebody decides they just don't feel like they want to cooperate in this team game they decided to play and now the boss has an eighth of its health left and is about to destroy the entire universe princess fiona isn't going to be the only one who will need a hero hopefully it's been drilled in your head now that dpsing is essential not just for the jobs with the title sticker but also anyone in a fancy robe or edgy trench coat as well now that you know that how does one go about dealing max deeps the first most basic thing is to do your combos <laughs> press a button see another button light up press that one congratulations <laughs> you have successfully completed a combo and doing so will reap a myriad of benefits from putting damage over time on your target, gaining mana, doing your taxes, or any variety of other additional effects. But mostly, it all achieves the same goal of dealing more damage. I wonder how many people would screw up if it didn't have the orange thing light up. Secondly, you want to press these skills that the game labels as abilities and the community calls off global cooldowns, or OGCDs for short. More like OGCDs NUTS! I personally call them free damage buttons. They cost you nothing and there's literally no reason not to press them while your normal cooldown is rolling. But this one has a long cooldown, what if I need it later? No it doesn't, shut up. The cooldowns in this game are so short you might as well press them because by the time you need them again, whoop, they're back up. Not to mention, many times <laughs> require you to press those free damage buttons to unlock even spankier damage buttons. So use your goddamn free damage buttons! It's free damage! The next rule of DPSing is knowing your ABCs. Always be casting! This means mashing away at your keyboard like a tickle monster working double time. More specifically, it means that the best way to make sure you are doing the most damage that you can is to always have your global cooldown going. Even if it means accidentally pressing the wrong skill like the single brain cell that you are. <laughs> because if you're always pressing buttons, even the suboptimal one, you are doing more damage it. than if you weren't. And doing damage is always better than not doing damage. True. Uh, yes, even scathe. Here's a live example with my two subjects, Jan and Chloe. They both deal 1 million damage and suddenly the boss flies out of melee range. Jan sits True, there. True, dude. Sam's so OP, man. 
<laughs> Waiting patiently for the boss to return before she can start doing a million damage again. Impeed. Meanwhile, Chloe's pressing the deal one damage at a range button the entire time they're waiting. I ask you, puny viewer, which person is dealing more damage right now? Yeah, but it's only one damage. Who's dealing more damage? As if any fight is going to get so close that dealing- Who is dealing more damage? Sure, it might not look like much, but it's going to matter when they fight the boss that has three million and two health and they wipe all because the other DPS decided they don't want to press buttons. It's such little DPS, it won't make a difference? Sure, Jan. Now, one of the best things you should do to improve your damage in Final Fantasy XIV is this. It's really simple. I want you to lean in. It's a super simple thing. Here, come close. I'm gonna say the thing. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes. Read your tooltips! The little block of text that literally tells you what your skills do. Honestly, you would be surprised how many people queue into an expert dungeon and never realize they have a skill that can attack multiple targets. Even all the things I tell you in this video, the combos, the range attacks- the Dude, I didn't know trick attack from doing behind. I did more damn. I did not know until I got to like Stormblood. But to be fair, I was like a sprout and like two months in or one month in. But I didn't know. I didn't know about positionals too well. The AoE damage skills, the free damage buttons. The best way to know what your job is capable of is by reading your job skill tooltips yourself. So you better read your goddamn tooltips because if I see another player not knowing about their <laughs> AoE combo and a mob pull at level 80, I'm gonna grab the nearest etherite and bash you so hard you're gonna be teleported to the final resting place of every ERP or used undergarments. With all that out of the way, you'd think I'd covered everything you need to do to be an ultimate clearing badass, right? Unfortunately, not Waffle Face. Because the final responsibility every single role in Final Fantasy XIV oh, no. shares is not dying. Oh sure, the healers help, but most of the time your own survival is on you and only you. And that means making sure you do the fight mechanics and don't take avoidable damage like it's got the cheese touch. Oh, I'm sorry, are you in the middle of your cast? You want to try and hit that purple parse like the big man you are? That's too damn bad! Each time you take damage that is avoidable, it means the healer has to heal you and they're dealing less damage. And on top of that, you get this cheese puff called a vulnerability stack. For each stack you have, you take more and more damage until you get one shot when the enemy farts in your general direction. All this to say, if you don't avoid enemy damage... So I learned this the hard way. I, I think it's important... I mean, if you're confident and you know the fight well, I think it's okay to do your full rotation and then dodge it. But if you're learning a new raid, I think it's important that you do your... What is it called again? I can't remember the word right now. I have brain damage from POTD 24 hour. Mechanics! Do your mechanics rather than trying to like get in one more attack. There's so many cases where I'm like, I want to finish like two more GCDs before I move out. And then by the time I do that, and then I move out, I get hit by like an AoE, and then you do less damage. Like, they give you a debuff where you do less damage, and it's like, I learned my lesson. I'm just gonna do the mechanics. And then press my button when I get a chance. Not only make the healer do less DPS, but you're also likely going to die, which means zero DPS. And if you still think that's not a big deal and the healers can just res you, each time you die, you get a dunce cap of shame that reduces your DPS even more for about as long as a red light in Philadelphia. So you I better stay alive debuff. or else I'm gonna raise you so I can rescue you into an AoE and Dude, that, you. That's the difference in WoW and uh, FF. If you die, it's you're punished. You do less damage. Oh my god, that thing is haunting. Myself, to recap, everybody's DPS matters. Press your free damage buttons. Always be casting. Read your tooltips. Stay alive. But even if you keep all those things in mind, the number one rule to improve your DPS performance is to practice. Striking dummies are all over the goddamn place, out in the overworld, and even in the yards of some random people's houses in the residential districts. So if you see one, there's no shame in whacking it a few times like you're auditioning to be a dominatrix. I'm sure the neighbors won't mind. Practice makes perfect, and even- Dude, that was RFC. <laughs> For like two months, we didn't have a training dummy. <laughs> and all our FC members, we would borrow our neighbors. They probably hated us. All the foresight in the world will not fully translate into the doing. So go and do that doing so that one day you too can do the do and make everybody else look like doo-doo because of how good your doing skills are. And with how much doing you'll be doing, maybe someday you too can clear an ultimate and get a shiny ass weapon of your own to show Whoa. off to people AFKing at the Limsa Etherite Plaza. Just know the difference between an amateur and a master is that a master has failed way more times. By the way, get ready for a party wipe. Wait, what? True. This, this is true right there, chat. A master failed a lot to get there. Way more times. By the way, get ready for a party wipe. Wait, what? <laughs> Congratulations, you're now better at the game than you were five seconds ago. Ow. And now true. you know how to DPS, you're welcome. Dude, that was a great video. Oh, finally, my cue just popped. <laughs> no, that one of the good. other party members withdrew. Ah, oh, fuck. I subbed too. That was actually really good. That was a good video.